Hello, everyone. How are y'all doing tonight? We're so happy to welcome you to the Songbirds Guitar Museum. So tonight is a very special night for several reasons. Why, you ask? Tonight is the very first show in our brand new series, The Super Fun Kids Rock Show. And tonight's central themes are togetherness and friendship. So, how many of you are here with a friend? All right, that was weak. How many of you are here with a friend? What's your friend's name? Yell your friend's name out. So there you go. There's some togetherness and some friendship already happening tonight. So that's what makes the Songbirds Super Fun Kids Rock so, so special. It brings kids together just like you to enjoy music. It allows us to gather in this amazing room full of history, guitars, and cool musical gadgets like our sound generators and our rocking guitar amp wall over here and experience the power of music. So it also allows us to create some new friendships. So take a minute and meet the folks around you. So just turn around and say hello to the people around you. All right, look at that. The Songbirds Super Fun Kids Rock Show is already working. Our plans are coming to fruition. The togetherness is happening. So enough of this. Let's get on with the show. So our guests tonight are Latin Grammy nominees, Sonia De Los Santos and Grammy Award winners, the Okie Doki Brothers. Are you guys ready for this? Come on, they need to hear you. That's more like it. So please help me welcome so Sonia De Los Santos and the Okie Doki Brothers to the Super Fun Kids Rock Show. Hey, everybody, how you doing out there? Good, good, good. Nice good to, to see you see all. Ya. Thanks so much for coming out. Quick question before we get started. Who out there likes music? Any music fans in the house? Music lovers. Music lovers. All right. Look at this. Cool. Well, you came to the right place. We've got some music for you. We've got some songs. We do. And do you want to start us off with a song? I do. Hi, everyone. Hola. We want to start with this song just to set the tone. Can everybody say alegría? Alegría. What does that mean? Happiness, joy, very good. So if you're able to, please put your hands up like this and repeat after me. Alegría. 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 It's going to be great. Ooh, That's it. you guys sound great. All right, take it away. Yeah. Si temprano, por eso me gusta cuando canta el gallo. Mi mamá me dijo que nací temprano, por eso me gusta cuando canta el gallo. Y por eso sé. Siento 
con mi canto yeah. Siempre dejé huella Keep it going Mi mamá me dijo Que la vida es bella Y que con mi canto Siempre dejé huella Y por eso sé Listening to a special presentation of the Songbirds Radio Hour. We're going to play a selection of songs and a Q&A from the Okie Dokie Brothers and Sonia de los Santos's performance recorded back on May 13th, 2023. Enjoy the show. Love that song. Nice. All right. Well, I think we better introduce ourselves before we get too far along here, oh, don't you? Sure. Yes. Good idea. Yeah. Uh, I'll introduce the two guys up here. We are the Okie Dokie Brothers. So hey. good to be here. Nice to be here. Tennessee. Holy moly. This is our first time ever playing in Chattanooga. Isn't it? Uh, let's see. Yep. For yep, sure. Yep. yep. Never been here. Yeah. We this came all the way from Minneapolis, Minnesota to sing you some songs. Some people have heard of it. <laughs> mm-hmm. And uh, I should introduce you to that guy over there. I've known him since I was just three years old. We grew up together in Denver, Colorado. And his name is Joe. Everybody say hi, Joe. Hi, Joe. Hey, everybody. Nice to meet you. Over there, we've got Justin. Say hey, Justin. Hey, Justin. Hey. Justin plays the five-string what? Yell it out. Banjo. Banjo. Yep. And I'm playing the six-string what? Guitar. Yeah, acoustic guitar. We're going to play some folk music with you today with Nuestra Amiga, our friend, Sonia. Everybody say hola, Sonia. Hola, Sonia. Hola, everybody. And do you know the name of the instrument I'm playing? Ukulele. Ukulele. It's a pretty good guess because I know it looks like a bigger ukulele, but it is actually a guitar, a Mexican guitar called jarana. Can you say jarana? Jarana. Yeah, that's where I'm playing today. Very good. Yeah, and um, we are going to sing a song right now about our friendship and about uh, how we came together to celebrate music in two different languages. We both play folk music. You know, the Okie Dokie Brothers and Sonia, we just sing in different languages sometimes, right? So during this show, we're going to be singing in English and in Spanish and mixing it up and uh, trying different languages. So uh, this one is what that's about. It's called Somos Amigos, which means we are what? Friends. 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 You got it. Mm-hmm. All right. Doesn't matter if you call it a Stetson or a sombrero, it's the hat that steers the herds. Doesn't matter if you call them cowboys or vaqueros, the best ones keep their word. Doesn't matter if you say ma'am or senorita when you're riding into the setting sun. Doesn't matter if you call it life or la vida. It's better when you're with someone. Yeah. Somos amigos con una distinta canción. Amigos, amigos, nos queremos por esa razón. No importa si se llama coffee or café, te despierta. Queremos por esa razón. Doesn't matter if you call it 
flag or bandera It just tells you where you are Doesn't matter if you call it border or frontera It disappears by strumming a guitar Somos amigos con una distinta canción Very nice. Thanks for singing around along. Hey, I think, you know, this is a different type of concert. You don't have to stay seated the whole time. In fact, we're going to do some dancing during this concert. And right now, we're going to sing a song for you that was kind of inspired by the Appalachian Mountains around these parts. Is the Appalachian Trail around here? Kind of? Okay, I don't know where exactly we are, but uh, maybe. Maybe it's way far away. I have no idea. It's, in, it, it's in this part of the country, generally, i okay. say. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's Further good to north. know. My geography's not great, but I do know it inspired the song we wrote called Jamboree, all right? And... Uh, you might know that a jamboree is when old town gets together and they do a little shuffling of the feet, maybe clogging flat foot, and they swing their partners round and round and uh, have a little dance, all right, to an old time band. And that's what we're going to do right here, right now. So yeah. if you're feeling like standing up, let's stand up on the count of three. Ready? A one, a two, a three. Stand, stand up. Stretch okay. your legs a little bit. Spread out. And most importantly, not only are you going to be busting a move, showing us your best dance moves, we're going to be throwing our fists up in the air like this and yelling out the word jamboree nice and loud after every line Justin sings. Jamboree, right? huh? Okay. Jamboree and not tangerine. Not tan or tambourine. Although, I think I heard somebody shaking a tambourine right You on could probably it. say that and nobody would notice, but nobody. It, this is going to be a jamboree. All right, sounds All good. All right, so let's try it. Jamboree on the count of three. Ready? One, two, three. Jamboree! That's it! There's a country store. Jamboree. In a country town. Jamboree. Every Friday night. Jamboree. People dance around Jamboree It don't look like much Jamboree And it ain't no chore Jamboree but While they dance Jamboree They polish that floor Play this song right on key To play this song It's called Jamboree Jamboree Woo Shake a leg Let's see those dance moves Swing your partner And yell it out There's a little old lady Jamboree Plays a big old bass Jamboree That banjo made Jamboree Should've stayed in the case Jamboree And the guitar there Jamboree Got a broken string Jamboree And the fiddles fly Jamboree And everyone sings yeah. Play this song Almost on key Almost on key Play this song It's called Jamboree Jamboree oh. That's it Alright, this time We're gonna whisper it as quietly as possible. Fleas in your pants. Jamboree. Coals on the floor. Jamboree. Suppose you can dance. Jamboree. If you can count to four. Jamboree. So grab you a partner. Jamboree. Now hold on tight. Jamboree. Cause we ain't stopping. Jamboree. Until we see the light. We'll play this song. We're way off key. Way off key. We'll play this song. It's called Jamboree. Jamboree, 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 Jambo
yourselves a hand. You're listening to a special presentation of the Songbirds Radio Hour, recorded on May 13th, 2023. And if you're noticing a lot of kids in the audience, well, you're paying attention. This show was our first installment of the brand new series, Songbird Super Fun Kids Rock Show. We're going to be doing a ton more of these in the next year, so follow Songbirds Foundation on your favorite social media to keep up to date. Let's get back to the show. Well, we're going to do a little singing on this one. This one is a call and response song off of our uh, album that came out a few years ago called Songs for Singing, and uh, it's a song that, oh, all you really have to do is just repeat after me, okay? So we'll practice first. You'll be the choir, kind of the backup singers, and you're gonna repeat whatever I say with Sonia and Justin, all right? All right, should we, we're gonna do a practice first? Yeah, all we're right. gonna just, just test it out. Okay. See how their voices sound. If you want a song, if you, you want, want a song, you gotta sing, you gotta sing. If you want a song, if you want a song, you gotta sing, you gotta sing. Very nice, so far so good. In the middle of the verse, I'll be singing some other words, and you can do some oohs with Sonia and Justin. Sounds like this. Ooh. Very nice. Yeah, and pretty much any note will do there. Any note, just really. Just anything. Yeah. Harmony. Yeah, harmony. We'll call it jazz, right? You can just choose anything. And then we'll finish off with, if you want a song, if you want a song, you gotta sing, you gotta yes. sing. They got it. Sounds yeah. great. Oh, one, two, three. If you want a song, if you want a song, you gotta sing, you gotta sing. If you want a song, you want a song, you gotta sing, you gotta sing. Cause once you find your song, then the world can sing along. If you want a song, you want a song, you gotta sing, you gotta sing. If you want to change, you want to change, you gotta change, you gotta change. If you want to change, you want to change. Change. You gotta change. Cause once you change yourself, then you can change something else. If you want change, you want change. You gotta change. You gotta change. If not now, then when? Not later, not then. If not us, then who? It's gotta be me and you. You and you. If you want love, you want love. Give it away. Give it away. If you want love, if you want love. You gotta give it away. You gotta give it away. And the best place to start is inside your little heart. If you want love, if you want love. Give it away. Give it away. If you want a song, you want a song. You gotta sing. You gotta sing. If you want a song, you want a song. You gotta sing. You gotta sing. Once you find your song, then the world can sing along. If you want a song, you want a song. You gotta sing, you gotta sing. If you want a song, you want a song. You gotta sing, you gotta sing. Well, I've got a song yes. that I want to oh. sing. Oh. Look at that. Then sing Perfect. it. Perfect. Yes. <laughs> that works that out work? well. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, just a little quick story. I grew up in the country of Mexico. Uh, yeah. Woo. Hey. <laughs> yes. All right. Thank you. Uh, and uh, I remember just going to my grandmother's house and sitting on her porch. And there I like to look at a nest with birds that lived in a little corner of her house. One day I went back there and the birds were gone. And I asked my grandma about them, and she said, Sonia, don't worry, they are golondrinas. They'll come back. And I said, okay, what's a golondrina? And she explained to me that golondrinas are swallows, migrant birds. Maybe you have heard about migrant birds? Yeah, some of you? All right, so they are birds that fly long distances looking for better weather, among other things. And inspired on that journey and my own journey, migrating from Monterrey, Mexico, where I'm from, to New York, where I live, uh, I wrote this next song called La Golondrina. Does anybody here know the Spanish word for up? Eso. Arriba. Everybody say, arriba. Arriba. Good. And down is? Abajo. Everybody say, abajo. 
Abajo. Our arms in Spanish are called brazos. brazos. So if I say brazos arriba, can you put your arms up like this? Abajo. Abajo. Arriba. Arriba. Abajo. 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 This is how we're going to fly all the way to Mexico. Ooh. All right. I love that song. Thank you. She wrote that song. Amazing. Sounds like Hello to everyone listening at home. This is Reed Caldwell from the Songbirds Foundation checking in. I just wanted to let you know that you're listening to the Songbirds Radio Hour here on WUTC, and we appreciate it. The Radio Hour is a monthly show recorded live at the Songbirds Guitar and Pop Culture Museum, and this week we are featuring the Okie Dokie Brothers with Sonia De Los Santos. This show was the first of our super fun kids rock show series, but there will be more Follow Songbirds Foundation on your favorite social media to find out how you can be part of the fun. Well, uh, for this next song, I'll tell you, tell you a little bit about it. A couple years ago, Joe and I, we decided we would take a little canoe trip down the Mississippi River. And, uh, oh yeah, you heard about that trip? That was a good one. Yeah, we, we thought we would canoe from uh, St. Paul, Minnesota down to St. Louis, Missouri. And we were out there camping on the banks of the river trying to be inspired by nature and our friendship and 
writing songs about whatever we found out there. So this is one of those songs we found, and this one's called Can You Canoe? All right, Can You Canoe? It's a good question, Can You Canoe? Can anybody out there canoe? Raise your hand if you've ever been on one of those things, seen one. You know what they are, right? They're boats, uh, but they don't have motors like other boats. They don't have sails like sailboats, but they do have what? Paddles. Oars or paddles, we call them paddles. Sometimes you can call them oars, I guess. Get out your paddles like this. I'm gonna teach you what's called the paddle dance. Ready, here we go. Other side. Very good, a very relaxing dance, all right? Very, very popular up in Minnesota, you know. It is, you go to a wedding in Minnesota, you're gonna see the paddle dance, all right? <laughs> just what happens. It's a very calming dance, so just sit back, relax. Pretend like you're floating down a river with your family. And sing along, all right? Here we go. We don't need a motor. We don't need a sail, and we don't need no fins or gills, and we don't need a tail. Let's just keep it simple, we'll each get an oar. Paddle out to no man's lake and float till we can't no more. Can you canoe on a little boat built for two? captain and your crew can you canoe if there's nothing better to do i want to float down a river with you sing it again i want to float down a river with you very nice all right get those paddles out let's see that paddle dance there it is looking good we don't need no outlets, we don't need no wires, primetime entertainment will be lightning bugs and fires. Let's just keep it simple, unplugged and outside, sound waves on the water don't need to be amplified. Sing it with us. Can you canoe on a little boat built for two? and your crew can you canoe if there's nothing better to do i want to float down a river with you sing it again i want to float down a river with you i'll take the bow brother you can take the stern, I'll move us forward, and you choose when to turn. Let's just keep it simple, we all need a friend. In this current moment, instead of looking around the bend. Here we go! Can you canoe on a little boat built for two? Your captain and your crew can you can do if there's nothing better to do I want to float down a river with you sing it again I want to float down a river with you one more I want to float down a river with you Thank you. Beautiful nice. song, you guys. What do you think, Sonia? Should we change it up a little bit? Do some we dancing? Should. Yeah, I had a song for that. Yes, uh, let's do it. Let's stand up if you can. Count of right. three. One, two, three. Stand, stand up. up. Everybody right. stretch a little bit again. Find some space around you, but most importantly, find yourself a partner 
or partners. There could be groups of two, three, four, if you really want to stay together. Uh, the important part is to have someone to do some dance moves with. If you see someone who's alone, invite them to your group uh, and do the neighborly thing. Um, in the song, you're going to hear some words and we're going to try some specific moves. This song is called Tan Feliz and it's about having fun with one another, pretty much. Uh, in the song, you're going to hear Te tengo a ti. Te tengo a ti. I want you to look at your partner and stretch your arm and point them like this. Te tengo a ti. Te tengo a ti. Tú me tienes a mí. Tú me tienes a mí. That's good. We're all saying, I have you and you have me. me. Very good. Tenemos todo. Tenemos todo. We have everything. ¿Qué más podemos pedir? ¿Qué más podemos pedir? pedir. What else could we ask for? Nothing much. Not much. We Tenemos have... tiempo. Maybe air conditioning. Tenemos, Tenemos tiempo. tiempo. <laughs> we have time. ¿Qué compartir? To share, open your hands with gratitude. And on the last line, you can do a little spin around in a circle. Yes, que no hay nadie que me haga tan feliz. That's it. Uh, the rest of the song, how about some wild free dancing? Oh, yeah. Let's see those dance moves. I want to see some okay. brand new dance moves we've never seen before. I think that's a good idea. This is the perfect place for it. Together, together, all around the neighborhood, neighborhood, just looking for friends to join us on this afternoon. Afternoon, when we do our dances, it'll be so fine under the sun. Oh, you and me, we're gonna shine. Ready, one more time. Te tengo a ti. Te tengo a ti. Tú me tienes a mí. Tú me tienes a mí. Tenemos todo. Tenemos todo. ¿Qué más podemos pedir? ¿Qué más Tenemos tiempo que compartir. Y es que no hay nadie que me haga tan feliz. Y es que no hay nadie que me haga tan feliz. Y es que no hay nadie. If you're just tuning in, you're listening to a special presentation of the Songbirds Radio Hour. Tonight, we are airing the first ever installment of our new concert series, Songbirds Super Fun Kids Rock Show. This show features the Okie Doki Brothers with Sonia De Los Santos. They're going to play a few more songs for you, and then we're going to have a brief Q&A. Thanks for joining us on the Songbirds Radio Hour. So uh, we will mention something right now. We just, the Okie Dokie Brothers, uh, Justin and I came out with a record, a new album two weeks ago or so, or two weeks ago, 
Something like that. Oh, maybe like a month ago. Again, I'm not great with time or geography, so I have no idea when it came out. But it was all about these critters in the woods, and uh, has to do with, uh, it's called Brambletown, yeah? And um, some of you have heard of it? Okay, yeah. Oh, thanks. This little community of critters, they've been going through some times of separation, right? So they're kind of working on getting back to their communities, right? And working through different problems. And one of these characters we're going to sing about right now. Justin, you want to tell him about this character? Sure. Yeah, this guy, he's a, he's a guy called Junkyard Raccoon. And he lives in the junkyard. And he, he sees all that trash and junk. And he says, uh, actually, it kind of looks like, like something nice to me, some treasure. He, he mm. takes all that stuff and makes it into something beautiful. And uh, yeah. yeah, that's it. And, I, and so uh, in this song, we've got a chorus. There's a chorus in this song. Can you believe it? It's a good chorus, it's, too. It's amazing. It's an old Irish chorus. Yeah, and after the first line of the chorus, we need you all to clap four times after the first line. Four times. Okay. You, you, uh, you, we're not going to practice. You, they, gotta, they, you, you know get, how to You do know that. what four claps is like. And then after the second line of the chorus, we're going to clap two times. Okay? Two times. So it's going to be four and then two. They got it. They got okay? it. Okay? We don't even need to practice. And then s sing along if you want after that. Yeah. Oh, boy. But no more claps. See if we can remember. <laughs> until okay. the next chorus. Okay, Are we clear? I think we got it. I think we got it. <laughs> I wrote it down. <laughs> I'm a junkyard raccoon, I'm the rummaging kind I scavenge and scrounge and use what I find They say I'm a varmint, a scoundrel, a thief But I just have a don't waste your garbage belief Some tin on a wire makes a necklace so dear And bottles and jars make a bright chandelier Washers and bolts turn to cufflinks so fine And old rotten fruit starts smelling like wine They say no good for nothing Nothing's no good, they say But we gotta start fixing what's broken Or we'll throw the whole town away Yeah, nice work! A monocle made from a magnifying glass Got a coffee tin top hat and now I'm high class If your truck breaks, break I'll use a grease for my hair And go masquerading as a broke millionaire They say no good for nothing Nothing's no good, they say but we gotta start fixing what's broken Or we'll throw the whole town away It's a glamorous life if you look at it right The junkyard twinkles on a moonlit night if you're thrifty and sly and clever and brave Not much in this world is too busted to say They say no good for nothing Nothing's no good, they say But we gotta start fixing what's broken Or we'll throw the whole world away They say no good for nothing Nothing's no good, they say But we gotta start fixing what's broken Or we'll throw the whole world away Very nice. They nailed the clapping part. Did you notice? Good job, everybody. These guys are just nailed great. It. They're well trained. Very good. <laughs> All right, let's do another song that we yeah. repurpose, kind of like Junkyard Raccoon, if you think about it. Taking old folk songs and repurposing them. We like to do that. 
Mm-hmm. Both the Okie Dokie Brothers and I like to do that. Mm-hmm. And, uh, and I like to do that, but also I like to translate and adapt some of these songs into Spanish. Mm. And so that's what I did with this old go- gospel song. We talked about migrant birds before, right? And we talked about their journeys. And this is also a song about journeys. You know, we in life, not only birds have journeys, but us humans in life have different journeys we go through depending on our particular stories. And this song talks about flying. Uh, And just, we invite you to sit back and, and think about where you are on your personal journey and where you would love to fly to. Mm, that's a nice thought. De mañana empezaré mi andar Yo volaré A un hogar junto al azul del mar Yo volaré Yo volaré, volaré, oh gloria Yo volaré De mañana al cruzar Aleluya sonará Yo volaré When the shadows of this life have gone I'm fly Like a bird from prison walls has flown Listening to a special presentation of the Songbirds Radio Hour. Our guests are the Okie Dokie Brothers with Sonia de los Santos. If you missed the first part of the show and you want to hear more of the performance, you can check out the full episode on songbirdsfoundation.org. In the meantime, we're going to move on to the QA portion of the show. Hope you enjoy it. All right, well, let's get going. So let's start out with just a simple question of how you got into music to begin with. Whoever sure. wants to start. Uh, yeah, uh, Joe gave me a guitar when I was like 13 years old and he was like, you should uh, take this home and maybe see if you want to play it. And then I (laughs) did and I kind of learned it and we would go back and forth and share songs and and sort of learned how to play guitar that way. Yeah, that's a a commitment. 13, 
I mean, I won't ask how old you are now, but that's a uh, that's a lot. It's a long commitment. It's 25 years or so. We give can't or do take. Math that high, so <laughs> we won't date anyone. What about? What about you, Sonia? Uh, I got started in music singing. My voice is my first instrument, and I started at home. My mom loves to sing. Some people in the, my family also like to sing, so I just casually singing at home with my mom. That was how I fell in love with it, and then I decided this is what I wanted to do for the rest of my life. And then how did you get... You got. Some, someone drew you into an instrument at some point, <laughs> Yeah. Right? Well, I got my first guitar when I was around 13 as a gift from my godfather, and I didn't play it until I was like 20, I think. Mm. I started learning, learning how to play it, and then later in life, I fell in love with this Mexican instrument, the jarana, which is a Mexican traditional guitar, but that was, that was later, and I've, I've been trying to learn how to play it, and I'm still, still working on it every day. That's good. That's what guitars. That's what guitar is for. Yeah. You never can master it, right? You can be Eric Johnson and still, you know, still be learning. So. Yeah. Yeah. So I started off playing piano as a first grader. You know, that was kind of my introduction to just ear training and whatnot. But I was never great at reading music. So around junior high, I I switched to the guitar and uh, learned some chords, and you know that's pretty much where I stopped. Um, didn't, didn't have to read anymore. <laughs> I know Songbirds Foundation wants to, me to say that I practiced every day for 20 years, but the, <laughs> the truth of the matter is this, I learned some chords and I fell in love with words and uh, jokes and performing and, and writing stories within songs, and that's what br- brought me into music. Uh, word play and expressing yourself through this musical form and I noticed yeah you need to know some chords and you need to be able to be on beat and strum a little bit but uh, really it's listening to yourself and expressing that is what has kept me coming back time and time again to music and songwriting yeah I, I think in defense of Songbirds Foundation that we <laughs> we support that wholeheartedly okay, we just good. want you and kids and everyone to play guitar we don't really care how, you know, how good you get. We think it's a great thing to help relieve stress and have, a, you, know, mm. you know, just be a good part of your life. Music is a great part of your life. That's what we always talk about, about how you know, music can bring us all together and help us change, change people's minds and open hearts. There's exhibits back there that talk about how people use music to do all sorts of stuff. All awesome. sorts of cultural change came through music. So it's important to learn to play those chords. You can get together with other people and have this great sense of togetherness, which I think is what you guys do best. Is like you talk about togetherness and like awesome and friendship and stuff like that. So mm. on that note, who's got a burning question? So what we want you to do is John's got a mic. He's going to come over, wait for the mic, and then ask your question. So we're right here in front. What's, their, what's your favorite song? What's our favorite song? You know, favorite song in general or favorite song that we've written? General. Okay, in general. <laughs> What's our favorite song in general? I, I must take this one right off Go the bat because I just have to share my love for this song. Um, row, Row, Row Your Boat is probably the most moving. It was kind of the preliminary song to Can You Canoe, which is one of our songs. And it's just, there's just something about the simplicity and genius of that song that I come back to time and again. It is beautiful. Merrily, 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 merrily. Life is but a dream. Oof. Is there a better way to, to, to write a song? I, I just don't think so. <laughs> is there another song that has merrily in it quite that many times? Probably it's got to be some Christmas tune, maybe. <laughs> yeah. maybe. Something. How about you guys? Favorite song in general? That's a tough one, but I have noticed that I love songs about birds. I like to listen to songs about birds and just like... Yeah, that's my thing. Mm, so, that's beautiful. Yeah. yeah. I like Don't say those. that too loud in Tennessee or people just yell free bird all the time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, songbirds. It's right well, on theme. Good. Yeah. <laughs> right on the logo. Yeah. Yeah, I can't pick a favorite either, but you know, I think what we try to do in our concerts is is have that song that we're singing at that moment be our favorite song. And and when you are able to achieve that, I think people actually can hear it very well. And, um, and it, it's all about the presence of that song yeah. right then. Yeah. I agree. I think being happy on stage is crucial. Just being, being happy able to, yeah. uh, to be, to enjoy what you're doing, right? Yeah. Mm. How many of you have play, play an instrument or want to play an instrument? All right. Look at, look at all these hands. Hands. Yeah. Everyone. Sweet. Oh, man. Well, we've got, we've got guitars for you to play in schools. When you get a little older, you'll be there. And Look, everybody should right. be raising their hand because we all Woo. sing, right? We all have voices. Yeah, it doesn't have to be perfect. You don't have to be right on pitch. You just got to sing it out, 
Express yourself, right? Sounds great. Oh, we got another question here. Do we want to get a you microphone? Wanna, yeah, let's oh, you're going to go there? And then we've got you in a sec, okay, bud? Yeah, we'll get you next. What inspired you to um, write the song, uh, what was it called? Um, auctioneer. Oh, Auctioneer. You know that old <laughs> song? Oh, my gosh. That's, well, that's, that's a good That's from question. an album that doesn't even exist anymore. <laughs> yeah. You're a super fan. Well, <laughs> we wrote... We wrote that song a long time ago because when we were playing shows for kids and families, we knew we needed songs that were really participatory, right? So we turned it into a game where we auctioned off a free CD. And so we were like, oh, we should have an auction. Let's write a really quick song that's a tongue twister. Think we can still do it? We'll start the bid in that $25, $25. Can I get a $25? Thank you, sir. Now keep it alive with $35, $35. Give it a nice solid. Ah, here, 40 from Lady in Green. All right, that's a little taste. I forgot. You forgot it. On your way. Too you fast. Guess. I've never heard it before. <laughs> we used they, to play they were, that every show. They were show. hiding it from me. <laughs> you can learn it on yeah. the drive tonight. You can just, yeah. Weren't you inspired by uh, your uncle that's an auctioneer or oh, something? Oh, my uncle's an auctioneer. There, that's the answer. Yeah. <laughs> uh, okay. We got another, we got another question? <laughs> well, um, the first instruments, well, I, I started with the drums, then the ukulele, and then the Okay. And then, and then, and then, and, but I'm still the best at the drums. Drums, yeah, I love yeah, yeah. it. That's awesome. Thanks for sharing that. Uh, nice. Drums is a great way to start playing music because of the rhythm, right? Isn't yeah. rhythm kind of the foundation of everything we do, guys? I'd say so. And you know, you don't have to. You don't have to like learn how to where to put your fingers and everything. You just bang on the drum, and that just feels good. It gets everything out. Yeah. He's, def he's definitely got the energy to be a drummer. I mean, oh, yeah. Just, this is a drummer. <laughs> You're gonna be For those a of you who drummer. can't see, he's hopping and jumping and skipping. I think I know that drummer. Shoes that light up, too. Yeah. So. Sonia, what is the name of the, u of the, the harmonica? Oh, what's the name of the harmonica? Huh. This one? Are you talking about this one? <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> well, uh, I think I, like I think that's like what you're asking <laughs> Hope you're about. Not sick. Um, <laughs> thanks for noticing. Yeah. So this is another instrument I was playing. Right. I was playing the jarana, which is the Mexican traditional guitar. It's a stringed instrument. And then I was playing this called the harmonica, and I actually use this artifact here. Very fancy. It's called the harmonica holder. <laughs> so you put the harmonica here, as you can see, and then I don't have to hold the harmonica with my hands, and I can play my guitar with this. So that's pretty cool, right? Great question. Thank you. All right. Another question? Any more questions? You can be, like, be like Bob Dylan there. <laughs> yeah. Trying. <laughs> All right, another question. What was your What was your first song you made together? Well, Justin and I wrote a song together. I remember when we were teenagers. It was called "In the Mountains," and we wrote it in the mountains. And it was about being in the mountains. Yeah. And uh, the deeper That's all meaning there was to it. <laughs> oh, the wordplay. <laughs> I was gonna say, yeah. The yeah. deeper meaning of it was all about you know just being in the mountains together. Yeah, <laughs> making wasn't memories. It. it wasn't. It wasn't too deep of a song, but the melody was fun. And I do remember one specific thing about that song. We started singing different melodies at uh, um, at one point, and I don't think we knew it, but that was what harmony was. Yeah, and we didn't even know the term harmony, and we were just like, "It's cool when you sing higher than I sing." <laughs> yeah, I don't think it sounded that good, but no, <laughs> it went in the mountains where my mind. Flies, flies away. away. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty deep. Yeah, I guess. Very deep. <laughs> yeah. What about you, son? Oh, wait, wait. What was the question again? First song you wrote the together. First song we wrote together. Oh. Uh, uh, so together with myself? <laughs> yeah, with yourself. <laughs> well, you. I'll tell you the first song I wrote thinking about sharing it with kids and families. It was that song, uh, La Golondrina, the first song I played today. And, uh, and I just wrote it just thinking about a personal story, but I also wrote it um, thinking about the starting place where I would want to kind of 
you know, tell my story from there. And then I've written many other songs, but that was the first one, and it's one of my favorites, and it's kind of a staple uh, from me. Yeah. All right, we got time for one more question from over here. What was your favorite album to write? Hmm. Hmm. Hard to pick a favorite. It's like if you have a bunch of kids and you have to pick a favorite. Yeah, do we like <laughs> to do that? Oh, some people do like to? Oh, okay. Uh, <laughs> well, what I'll say is one of the most memorable ones, I don't know if it's my favorite, but was getting in a canoe and floating down the Mississippi River was pretty special because the river has a whole spirit to it, right? The water. And uh, in, while we floated down that river, nature really had an impact on us and influenced our songwriting and taught us a lot of lessons. So that one is a hard one to forget. I just loved that experience. And the album's pretty good, too. Uh, I have three albums out, and they're both, they're both, there are three of them. <laughs> Sorry. Three of them are my favorites for different reasons. They represent different things that were happening in my life at those moments and different people who I collaborated with uh, that were my family, too. Uh, or that have become my family. So it's hard to choose one, but they're different. Yeah. 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 That's yeah. all. Yeah. <laughs> Not much more to it. I mean, it's, it's, about, uh, it's about writing the album, and, and the experience of doing that is what builds on a career and a lifetime of work. And uh, so just the process of, of coming up with songs, passing them over to Joe, talking about them, working on them, uh, trying to understand what we're trying to say and then finally recording them and then really finally putting it out. It's just um, the experience of being a songwriter is, um, is, is enough for one life. There's a lot there. All right, well, thank you all so much. Y'all give another round of applause for Sonia De Los Santos and the Okie Dokie Brothers. Woo-hoo. Thank y'all so much for joining us for the Super Kids Fun Rock Show and the Songbirds Radio Hour. Thanks, everybody. See y'all. I'm going around this world, baby, mine. I'm going around this world. I'm a banjo picking girl. I'm going around this world, baby, mine. Songbirds Radio Hour is made possible through a grant from the Riverview Foundation. If you'd like to attend a live taping of the Radio Hour, please visit songbirdsfoundation.org for more information. This episode was produced and written by Reed Caldwell. Live recording by James Snyder. Our logo was designed by Mars Michael. Additional thanks to Victoria Sauer, WUTC, and of course, the Okie Dokie Brothers and Sonio De Los Santos. Directed, edited, and mixed by John Dooley. More local? Oh, do it. Yeah. I'm going to Chattanooga, baby man. Chattanooga! I'm going to Chattanooga, baby man. I'm going to Chattanooga. Rhymes with that. What, huh? Paint the balloon. Oh, oh.